white women, Latino and black people that consider themselves Republicans or MAGA, part of the Trump culture, on the Trump train. I want you to understand something. They see you as nothing more than a vote. They see you as advertisement. They see you as pets. They've labeled you a certain way. And Matt Gates is going to show you how they labeled you. He was on Newsmax and he had this to say about white women, Latino and black voters in the Republican Party. All right, we just heard President Trump speaking out of his New York place on his way to New Hampshire right now. Florida Congressman Matt Gates joins me now. Congressman, I don't know if you had a chance to hear what President Trump said, but he basically called the entire court thing another sham, which I happen to think it is. And now he's off to New Hampshire to campaign more. The guy's a machine. There is a relentlessness and a persistence in the Trump campaign that I think really emerges out of the candidate himself. In Iowa, this victory was so huge, and really it was a testament to the resiliency of the Trump voter. Because mm -hmm. you had the worst conditions possible, uh, historically challenging weather and ice, and these folks came out and uh, voted overwhelmingly for the president. I met with a lot of those folks. This is the blue-collar realignment of the Republican Party. And what I could tell you is, like, for every Karen we lose, there's a there's a Julio and a Jamal ready to sign up for the MAGA movement, and that abodes well for our ability to be more diverse and to be more durable as we head into not only the rest of the primary contests, but also the general election. Now, Newsmax is known for their under, you know, underlined racist antics and tones. But even the, the guy that was reporting on Matt Gates, even he had this to say. Well, also, you know, when Trump was president, it was better for all people, not just people of certain races. But Congressman, you yeah. know, people really thought. Yeah, he had to clean it up for Matt Gates. He had to say that, hey, the Republican Party is for everybody, not just people of certain races. And did you see Matt Gates's face? Didn't care either way. He see white women in the GOP as Karens. Every Latino that calls themselves MAGA or Republican, you're Julio. Every black person that calls themselves a Republican or a MAGA, you're a Jamal. They don't care. But also, this shows you that the Republican Party is nothing but white men. Because he did not mention a white man. He did not do out. A, he did not put out a stereotype of a white person's name. And what's also bad is that he did not mention black women. So, brother. When you hear about black women saying they get little to no respect, here's an example. Not only did he not mention black women, they never even came up in the conversation. They're ignored. That's why the, that's why the black woman is saying, black man, come home. Look at me. I'm here. I need you. Again, he knows that white men are there. Black women are irrelevant. So he looks to, we may lose the Karens, but we still got Julio and we still got Jamal. That's the GOP in a nutshell. If you don't hear none of my videos, if you don't, if you don't follow none of my videos, follow this one. That's who the GOP sees you as. What do you think?